bogged down in Carl Wheels a bit. And, uh, but it's a good day. It's a really good day. It's a good day for this area. It's a good day for 18 different projects that we're going to do, I think, in eight different counties. And all that's really great. And uh, I appreciate y'all coming out. I hope y'all have sit out here and got too terribly cold. I'd like to have brought you a biscuit, but uh, I'd, I'd like to have one myself. <laughs> And, uh, but nevertheless, we've got two projects here, you know, that we're going to give out today. And uh, the first project is, you know, a hazard mitigation project, and it's awarded to the city of Oak Hill. Now, I'll get to that in just one second, at uh, Oak Hill Menden. And the other project is a, a project that's awarded to the city of Hinton. And we got, we had to combine a little bit together because i just be going all over Kingdom Come and I, I can't get to everybody. That's just all there's to it. But, uh, but nevertheless, I want to read to you just a little bit of something here. Because this is really, this is really what this is all about. But, uh, you know, the U.S. Housing and Urban Development, the federal agency that funds it, the, 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 that, that funds these grants requires that the funded projects meet HUD, de the HUD, HUD definition of mitigation. Now, just listen to this. HUD requires mitigation as those activities that increase resilience to disasters and reduce or eliminate the long-term risk of life, and on and on and on, the property or whatever it may be. HUD also requires that at least 50% of these funds you know, directly benefit low to moderate income families or individuals, and if 50% of these funds directly benefit the most impacted and distressed areas determined by HUD, which on these grants today are Clay, Canal, Greenbrier, Nicholas counties. But in addition to that, we can do grants as, as we're talking about here. In our Community Advancement and Development Division of the West Virginia Development Office manages these funds, and on and on and on about me, me being very, very appreciative to all the that Is there anybody here from, from that group today? Well, nevertheless, uh, let's pass all our accolades to them. But just think about this just a second. At the end of the day, you know, especially, you know, when, you know, you think about the little town of Minden and all that those folks have been through, it's unbelievable. It's really, really something. And then you think about the town of Hinton in Summers County, and, and you just think just for a second about, about the rebirth of that town almost, and all that's going on there, and how good that could be. And really, if you'll just step back and, and, and think about it, and you'll think about West Virginia, and what West Virginia is, we're, we're moving from really transforming from a lot of tough days, a lot of really, really tough decades, if not even tough centuries, to now we're becoming the butterfly that maybe a lot of people really miss. And it's really exciting. It's an exciting, exciting time in West Virginia. So let me let me get on with giving this money and, and doing this stuff. And, you know, this, gosh, and they, these are big numbers. I mean, that's all there is to it. Any way you cut it, this grant right here is the West Virginia Community Development Block Grant Hazard Mitigation. This is to certify that a grant of, and get this thing, $4,739,000 has been awarded to the city of Oak Hill, Memphis. Everybody from Oak Hill up here. And, and, <laughs> come on up here, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. and everybody. I'll just sit right here. I'm, I'm, I'm just sitting on my stool. I'm going to do so. Y'all need to stand kind of in front of me here. A little bit. This, this is y'all.
It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Thank Roll and thank all y'all. The, the legislature has been fantastic and you know that. It's just good. We're going. We're going the right way. I love it. Let's go. All right. Get back in the war. <laughs>